So now I have the total rainfall. The next thing I want is my average rainfall. We have a function for that too. We created a function for that. So calculate average monthly rainfall. We call it calculate average monthly rainfall. You can call it whatever you want. I know it's a long name, but that's how we called it. So let's use it. So I'm going to call that function. We know that function, calculate average monthly rainfall, needs first of all the total rainfall, which we have, um, which we have, let's see, we have here, okay? So we have that here, and then it also needs, calculate average monthly rainfall also needs the total rainfall list, which we have here. So we can pass that in here also as well. And we know that the calculate average monthly rainfall returns the average rainfall. Okay. And so if it's returning, if this whole statement is returning the average monthly rainfall, then let's create a variable. I'm going to call this, this also average monthly rainfall. This variable is going to receive whatever average rainfall that this function call is going to return. I want to break this line into two. So somewhere around here, I'm going to type in the backslash hit enter. Well, still exceeding. So undo. And somewhere around here, I'm going to break it. So type in a backslash here, hit enter. So that's better. All right, so now we have our average monthly rainfall as well. The next thing we want to get is the rainfall, month with the highest rainfall and the month with the lowest rainfall. So we have a function for that, which is find highest rainfall month. Okay, that's first. I'm going to call that function. We know that function needs a couple of arguments. So, so find highest, monthly, uh, highest rainfall amounts needs the total rainfall list, which we have here. So I'm going to pass it into it. It also needs the names of months list, which we have here. I'm going to make a copy of it and pass it here. And we know when we provide it everything it needs, it returns the names of the, which basically returns the name of the months the actual name of the month. So if, it, if, it, if it's returning the actual name of the month with the highest rainfall, we need a place to store that. It's going to be a string. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it highest rainfall amount. Well, basically highest rainfall, yeah, highest rainfall amount month, I guess. You can also call it highest rainfall month. You can say that. Yeah, that's highest rainfall amount month. For month. Let's call the highest rainfall month just so it's a bit short, although it doesn't matter. But highest rainfall month, that's what, what it's returning. So we store that here. I want to break this line into two. So type in a backslash, hit enter. And then the same idea for lowest rainfall month. So this is going to be lowest rainfall month. That's going to be equal to, we can call this function, which is find lowest rainfall month. And we need to provide it whatever it needs, which is our total rainfall list, which we have here. So I'm going to pass it into it. The next thing it also needs is our um, names of the months list, which we have here. So I can pass in that as well. Exceeding this line here, so I'm going to break it into two, just like the previous one. Type in a backslash. Hit enter. So now we have everything the question is asking us. We have everything. Now we can call our print rainfall, you know, statistics function to display our values. So I'm going to call print rainfall, you know, stats function, and we need to provide all the things it needs. It needs the total rainfall list, which we have here. I'm going to pass in these arguments. The next thing it needs is the names of the month list, which we have here. So I'm going to pass it into it. The next thing it needs is the total rainfall, which we have here. So I'm going to pass that also in a comma. And it also needs the average rainfall, which we have here. Average monthly rainfall, that's how we called it. So I'm going to pass it in here. And then it needs the highest rainfall month, Oops, I'm not going to copy that. So we need the highest rainfall month, which we have here, highest rainfall month. So I'm going to pass that also. And then the next thing it needs is the lowest rainfall month, which we have here, lowest rainfall month. So I'm going to pass it in here. 
going to break this line to somewhere around here type in a backslash hit enter going to continue to break this line into two somewhere around here type in a backslash hit enter and that's fine so let's run this and see what happens so when we run run this again nothing will happen because all we've done is define functions the main function itself is also a function and that's my i don't know if you can hear it but it's a beep it's a library um, beep i'm in the library making this we have about 30 minutes to uh 30 minutes to end this i think we can finish in 30 minutes all right so let, let's let's just make sure this is recording again so 4 to 5 51 4 to, yep it's still recording all right so that's good yesterday was acting a bit funny okay so when we run this nothing happens because we've only defined functions and we haven't called anything so even though the main function is calling other functions the main function is a function itself and we need to call it before it can kind of call these other functions so outside of this outside of all of it I'm going to call the main function so that it kicks in and starts calling the other all the functions but the main function is a function itself so let's run it and see if we're going to count any errors or see if it's going to work so I'm going to hit run and as you can see it's working it says please enter the rainfall amount for January let's just you know, put a colon there so please enter the rainfall amount for this month and let's continue by con concatenating a string the string is going to be a colon and a space just so it looks nice so I'm run this and now it says please enter the rainfall amount for January I'm going to enter 2 it says please enter the rainfall amount for February I'm going to enter 2 let's do that for every month so 2 for every month Okay, so we have some errors, then let's try to fix it. All right, so it says unsupported operon type for list and int. All right, so what are we doing here? So average rainfall is going to be the total. Okay, so yeah, that's a big error. I'm sure some of you saw it. What we are, what we are doing is we're actually dividing, we are dividing the list by the number of months. I don't know why I did that, but I'm sure some of you saw it and you're like, what is this? Okay, <laughs> let's fix it. So over here, what we're doing is we are calculating. I don't know why I even did that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, what we're doing is we are calculating the average monthly rainfall. And the monthly rainfall is basically the total rainfall amount, the total rainfall divided by how many months there are. What, we, what, what I should have done was to calculate the, calculate the total here. Now, the beautiful thing is we have the calculate total rainfall function, which takes in a list and will basically return to you the total rainfall. We over here for the average rainfall, we need to divide the total rainfall by the number of months and not the to not the not the list itself. That's an error. You can take just take a list and divide by an, a number. You can't do that. And so we have a function called calculate total rainfall. That's what I meant to do. I'm sure some of you saw this again. You're, you're asking how does this work? Anyway, so I'm going to call the calculate total rainfall function around the total rainfall list. So you're taking that. So the functions see each other. All the functions are accessible to each other. So this function has access to this function. So I can call this function in this function here. So I'm going to call the calculate total rainfall function passing this list because it needs a list. And this here will return this line here or will, will return the total rainfall based on the total rain, sorry, sorry. It's going to return the total rainfall based on the rainfall amounts in this list. So that'll be the total rainfall okay add all the rainfall amounts up total rainfall and divides by the number of months that's what we should have done i don't know why i just put the total rainfall is divided by number of months anyway but that's what i meant though so now this should fix it um we, we are exceeding this line here and so i'm going to break it somewhere around here type in the backslash hit enter i don't want to confuse you so i'm going to just space this out a little bit yeah Okay, so let's run this again. I'm going to type in two for every month and let's see if it fixes it. Okay, so it looks like it's working. Let's scroll up a little bit and see. All right, so this is where we enter all our values all the way to December. Let's see if it's correct. So it says January has a rainfall amount of 2.0. Okay, so it's a float. I just don't know the units we are dealing with here, so that's why I didn't add like millimeters or centimeters or whatever it is. So 2.0 is something, all right? So generally has a rainfall amount of 2.0. February has a rainfall amount of 2.0. Let's see, total rainfall is 24. All right, before we, you know, cross-check everything, 
this is a bit jumbled up. I want to space it out a little bit. So after typing in all the values, I want to I want there to be a new line, uh, an empty line before we start displaying the stuff. So after typing in all our values, before we display, January has a rainfall amount. All right. So where it displays that, that is somewhere around here in our print rainfall, you know, st in statistics function. So this is where it's displaying the name of the month has a rainfall amount of this. All right. So before that. I want to create some kind of empty line. Now, when you call the print function and pass in something to print, it's going to go ahead and print this this particular value. Okay, it's going to print that particular value and then end it with a new line. So it's going to print this out and end it with a new line. What it means is it prints it prints this out and moves the position from the end of that line to the next line. Anything that follows this, anything anything that follows what has been printed will follow from the next line going. So that's how the print function works. By default, it ends with a new line. So if you call the print function and pass in nothing, what you're doing is basically printing nothing on that line. Printing nothing on that line, printing um, which creates an empty empty line. But we also know that the print function by default prints whatever you've told it to print, in this case nothing, and moves the position from the end of that line to the next line. And anything that comes after whatever you've told it to print, in this case nothing, will be displayed from that next line going. So by call, calling the print function and passing in nothing, you're printing nothing on that line, but the print function always moves the position from the end of the line to the next line. And anything that follows whatever you've told it to print will be, will, be print, will be printed from the next line going. So basically, calling the print function with nothing in it creates an empty line. So that's what we're doing here, creating an empty line here. Let's try again. Type in two for every month. Okay, so we have our empty line here. I want to do the same thing for when it displays the rainfall amount for each month. I want to create a new line after, uh, before it displays the total rainfall, average rainfall, and all of that. So let's scroll down. This is where it, where it starts displaying the total rainfall, which we have again in our print rainfall, you know, uh, statistics function. Over here, we can just we can embed the new line character backslash n. And we know the new line character backslash n will basically move the so before the total rainfall is displayed, before this value here is displayed, we have a new line character. And what it will do is right here we have the new line character. It will move everything, it will, it will create a new line, it will move everything down. Okay, so it will create a new line, and anything that comes after the new line, okay, will be displayed from the next line going. So, so anything that will, will comes after this new line character, which is the total, all the stuff, will be displayed from the next line going. So the backslash n will create a new line. Backslash n together creates that. It's, 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 um, it's together, okay? When the, when the um, interpreter sees that. So let's run that and try again. Type in two for each month. And now we have our empty line here, we have our empty line here. Let's let's cross check this. All right, so two plus two plus two, so basically two times twelve. Right, there are twelve months. Each of them is two. Gives you twenty-four. So we know that's working. Let's pull out our cal calculator really quickly. Okay. So we know that's twenty-four, and the average rainfall is basically the total rainfall, which is twenty-four, divided by how many months there are. We know there are twelve months, so let's divide twenty-four by twelve, and that gives us two. So the average rainfall is correct. Now it says January has the highest rainfall, and that's correct, right? So even though all of them have equal amounts, you look for the first one, it says January has the lowest rainfall. There was nothing lower than two here, and that's why I stuck with January. Then it goes to the highest. Okay, I did the lowest, now let's go to the highest. It found two to, the, to be the first highest, and it didn't find anything higher than January, and so that's why it stuck with January. So let's try something else. Let's run the program and type in different values. I'm going to type in one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then two. All right, so let's see. We type in the right values, we can see it's matching. And then let's see, total rainfall is 38. So all we have to do is basically add them all up. Now you can do this, I just wanted to cross check. I know we can, we, can, we know this, but I just wanted to cross check. So let's add them all up. One plus two plus three plus four, five plus six plus five, plus four, plus three, plus two, plus 
one and then plus two gives us 38. So we know the total rainfall is 38 and that's correct. The average rainfall is the total rainfall, which is 38, divided by how many months there are. There are 12 months, so I'm going to divide this by 12 months. And that gives us 3.16666. So basically, there's this value here. I know this is a bit different, but it's it's very close. Now, we can format this, this value later on. We'll do that in a second. Okay, so it says June has the highest rainfall. So let's see if it's correct. Uh, June has the highest rainfall. Highest, highest rainfall of 6, and it's correct. It's true. There's nothing that's that's bigger than 6 here. So it's correct. June has the highest rainfall. And it says January has the lowest rainfall. So it found January, which is 1. Yes, there's nothing lower than... Actually, there's November also has a rainfall of 1. But because it found January 1st, January is the, is the one that it's stuck with as being the one with the lowest rainfall. The one it finds first is the lowest, lowest rainfall. If we have months with the same amount of rainfall. Months with the same amount of lowest rainfall is what, is what I mean. Okay, so it looks like this program is working. So let's format this value here, which is our average rainfall value. Let's run this here. All right, so where it's displaying our average rainfall is in our print, you know, rainfall, you know, uh, stats function. Over here, where it's, this is where it's displaying the average rainfall. So it's this is the value here. All right, so I'm going to remove this str function and then try to format it with a format function. Now, the format function will return a string, and so it wouldn't have a problem concatenating a string to a string. Format function um, returns a string also. So it takes in a couple of arguments. It takes in what you want to format and how you want it formatted in double quotations as a format string with format specifiers in the format string. Okay, so the format string is what's in a double quotation and we can embed format specifiers in here. So I want to format this average rainfall. I want it first of all formatted as a floating point value, as a float. So I'm going to type in F as a conversion character. The next thing is I want to format it to two decimal places. So I'm going to specify the precision before the conversion character, okay, or before the type, before it. So I'm going to type in 0.2, representing two decimal places. If I wanted to format it to three decimal places, I'll do 0.3. But I want two decimal places, so I'm going to do 0.2. Precision comes before the type, or well, before the conversion character. And basically, we're done. All right, so let's run this again, type in that, uh, the previous values. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 2. And we can see the values are the same. This has been formatted to two decimal places as a floating point value. All right, so it's working. Uh, you, can mo you can go ahead and modify this even you know, furthermore. But we've done everything the question is asking for. Everything it's asking for, we've done it. Okay, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. I know there are some parts that I that, that some parts that I harped on. I just wanted to, it to be clear. But if you understand this, you can skip it, or you can I mean skip through it, or you can use a fast forward feature on YouTube. If this is helping, the pace is helping you, then that's good. Um, you know, I like to take my time to make sure it's important, it's clear, because that's really what's important here. If you can understand it, then that's good. All right, so take care of yourselves. If you have any questions, comment below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Have a nice time. Have a nice night. Have a, have a good day. Um, and, you know, and, and enjoy, wherever, enjoy the time wherever you are. <laughs> okay, um, so I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Take care. Bye-bye.